What's up, fellas? All right, so I saw a good question yesterday, and I wanted to answer this because this is a pivotal thing, guys. And to me, this is pivotal as in to how to keep women attracted, all right? And so a guy had asked me, I told you guys to be proactive and not reactive and stuff like this, and so you want to keep a woman feminine, so I basically told, told you guys to you pull back, right? So the guy wanted to know the proper way to pull back, which I thought was a damn good question, right? Because... You know, it is an art to it, all right? Because if you do it wrong, I ask you guys like this. When a girl pull back on you, and for my strong guys, for my guys with options, all right, what we do, we pull back. So I, it's a skill to it to where you want a person to still pursue you and not just think you've lost, lost interest. Because if somebody perceives you as lost interest, and they got options, they'll just move on, all right? So that's the thing. So for all my guys out there, if you dating these super hot chicks and stuff like that and you want to try to do a pullback and she got fucking 20 other guys, 100 guys trying to fuck her, good luck with that, all right? So it's a, actually a skill to the fucking shit. All right, first thing you need to know is the pullback is a strategy. It is a manipulation strategy, all right? It's a fucking game plan, all right? When you lose interest, that just means you lost feeling, all right? That's not a strategy, all right? So sometimes you guys might confuse what's a pullback when a woman does a pullback and when she's just lost interest. And I'll tell you that right now. When a woman is doing a pullback, she easy to make dates with and stuff like that. She wants to see you, but she just, her pursuing you, like she stopped initiating contact. Lost interest is... You can't hardly even get on a date. It's like, well, I don't know. Can I check my schedule? I might have to work. My friend says she might want to go do brunch. That's lost interest. In other words, you're no longer a priority. All right? Pull back, you're still a priority. She's just using manipulation to get you chased more. So she'll make dates. She wants to see you. All right? She wants to see you. She just ain't initiating contact. Lost interest is you start getting flaky on, she start flaking on dates. She don't want, she don't set days. It's like you're not a priority. Well, I don't know. I might, my period might come on. I don't know. It's supposed to rain. Like all of a sudden the bitch is made of sugar and all of a sudden she don't know if she can go out in the fucking rain. Even though y'all don't been out on plenty of dates in the rain. All of a sudden now the rain is a big issue. I don't know. The thunderstorm is supposed to come Saturday. I don't know. It's supposed to rain. So these are things to let you know, guys, the difference between a pullback and lost of interest. Now, understand this, guys. If you do the pullback, understand that you always can lose your fucking girl. All right? You can always lose your fucking girl. It, 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 it. If you're doing some shit like this, understand that it's a strategy. She can counter your strategy. And what do I tell you? Here's the thing what you guys got to understand. Here's the thing. Where the fuck do y'all guys think these women get this shit from? All right? Now, maybe they ain't following a female dating coach on YouTube or no shit like that, but please believe in all these books, Cosmetology and all these other female books that they read, it gives female strategies, guys. All right? They got all these fucking books, the rules. They have books to get them strategies, too. They ain't just pulling this shit out of their fucking ass. All right? So please believe me, they getting this shit from somewhere. All right? So... First thing you need to know is going to be you need to do small changes in behavior. Small, all right? You don't go fucking cold turkey, all right? One thing you see with guys when they get on a fucking diet, they want to go from eating 500 carbs a day to fucking 50, all right, guys? In anything in life, we like things small. You can't come up with technology and take us too fast. They got to make technology small increments. Small techno technological advances. They can't go fucking from here to there. We can't go from riding a car to a fucking spaceship over fucking night. I, the human mind doesn't work that way. Everything has to be small. Small increments. Alright? So the first thing you need to know is, is that do not do a pullback until she's attached. This is going to take you at least two months, guys. Do not be taking a girl out for fucking two weeks and trying to do a fucking pullback. Do that. You think a girl is attached to you in two fucking weeks. All right? You don't do no pullback until a girl is attached. This is probably going to take you about two to three months. All right? 
two to three months, all right? Do not do a pullback before then, all right? And you can tell that she's attached by how she look at you, how she's contacting you, how easy it is to set dates. So when you try to set a date or something like that, you say, well, how about we meet up Friday or whatever the case. Oh, you ask her, what's her availability? I'm free the whole weekend. I'm free Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all right? Now, understand this. A woman always has other stuff going on. She has friends. She has family. Most of you guys know women are very, you know, close to their friends, close to their family and stuff like that. When a woman is attached to you, you become the priority. So whatever, is to, to see you, I'm making myself available. I'll move my friends around you. All right. You're the priority. That's why I say when you, when a woman is losing interest, you're not the priority. Everything is is an issue well my mom's supposed to be coming in town i don't know the dog gotta go to the veterinarian i don't know can i get back with you that's when you know you're lost, losing interest because or lost interest because you're no longer a priority she's trying to fit you in somewhere and the funny thing is you probably she's probably losing interest because you didn't do the pullback funny how that works right because you didn't do the pullback that's probably why she lost fucking interest all right because you're too fucking easy too available so that's why she's probably lost interest that's why i say this video is very important you guys have got to learn how to do the fucking pullback it keeps women chasing keeps them feminine all right who's ever chasing who is in a feminine position we're mostly going to be in a feminine 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 position at the beginning but we're trying to swap that around as quickly as possible. Preferably two to three months, we're trying to get it on them. All right, because who's ever chasing or pursuing the other one, they are in a weaker position. All right, that's the way it goes, guys. So it's important that we get women into the chasing position as fast as possible. All right, and it's still going to take about two to three months. So here's the thing go, guys. If you've got a woman attached, typically, you guys should be interacting every day, all right? Every day. I told you guys, by now, her interest should be high, all right? And how I told you when a woman's displaying high interest, you do 50-50 50, 50, 50 contact, all right? Texting, calling, whatever the case may be. Just make sure y'all initiating contact or whatever the case may be, all right? Notice now I said this is 50-50. Notice at the beginning, it was all you, and she wasn't doing that, and it slowly went up. So now we're at the two-month mark, and now... It's 50 50. She's displaying high interest. Now, every now and then, you're going to get lucky in a woman that's going to display this from the very beginning. But, like I told you guys, this is going to be rare. Not so much that you won't meet women that have high interest, but because women are being schooled that, or have been schooled, that men should be doing most of the pursuing. So, even typically, even if you meet a woman and you knock her socks off, Typically, she will fucking hide those feelings and still make you do most of the pursuing because women have been taught that if a man really wants you, he'll pursue and chase you, all right? This is what they've been taught. So it's rare that you're going to come across a woman that hasn't been schooled on that, all right? So not only does she have to have high interest in you, she also has not been schooled, you know, with the feminine propaganda and shit like that. So that's rare, all right? So let's... The average woman is going to take them two months to get to this position. Every now and then, you're going to get lucky. And a girl, you, she, you just do it for whatever the case may be. But that's rare. Don't look for that shit. Typically, two months is when a woman is going to be 50-50 initial contact. Now, here's the thing. You're going to slowly retract. All right, so let's hypothetically say you reaching out, initiating contact three times a week, and she's initiating contact four times a week. Well, you're going to subtract it. Now, you're going to initiate contact twice a week all right twice a week she's initiating four you're initiating two you're gonna skip a day all right so let's hypothetically say you initiate con contact monday she does it tuesday wednesday you skip all right and if she's one of those women that like well he got to initiate contact with me first i initiated with him last time but if she's at high interest typically speaking that wednesday she know you ain't hit her up She'll probably like, hey, everything okay? How's it going? Because, guys, please believe women are not stupid. I, I told you guys, women are not stupid. The same way you don't want to chase her or pursue her, she don't want to be doing all the pursuing and chasing you. But here's the thing. Now you got her to a point of no return. Her feelings is involved. All right? You try that shit after the second date, and she'll just fucking move on. But now it's two months, three months in... Now her feelings are involved. Now she's invested. Even though she sees and she notices that 
you know, you ain't text her today or whatever the case may be. She probably will say something about it, but she can't just walk away because she's invested. All right. That's the key, guys. That's why you got to wait till the woman is invested. Wait till she cares something about your ass. If she don't care nothing about your ass and you try this shit three weeks in, and please don't think she's invested after you fuck. That means nothing to women no more. All right. The sexual revolution has taught women, hey, you can fuck as many guys as men. They fucking around, so you can fuck around too. You can be a slut too. That's what the sexual revolution has taught women. That, you know, you ain't got to worry about trying to be all Christian girl and stuff like that. You can fuck. They fucking, we can fuck too. We can do what they do. All right? So please don't think that, oh, I can fuck and now I can start to pull back. That means absolutely nothing to most women these days. Sad to say, guys. That means absolutely shit. All right? You got to get her hard. You got to get her invested in her time and stuff. Effort she done put into the relationship. I cooked dinner for this motherfucker two weeks in a row and he just going to pull back. Oh, hell no. All right, so now that you got her invested, you slowly going to pull back. So now last week you was hitting up three times a week. This week you're going to hit up two. Maybe you do it like that for a couple of weeks. Now you're going to go to one. All right, you do that for a couple of weeks, and now she's doing all the pursuit. Now she's going to say something, guys. She's going to say something. All right, she ain't going to just let that go like she don't see you not initiating no contact. And, and at some point... At some point, you're going to get that test. All right? At some point, you pulling back like that, you can set your fucking watch to it. She going to pull back. And she might go a whole week or two. Usually, it's about a week. Usually, when girls have pulled back on me when I want to initiate contact after they said something, usually, it's about a week, week and a half, they'll hit me up. And that's when you got to hold tight, guys. That's when you go got to hold tight. She's going to pull back because she's been saying something about you not initiating contact or why you can't never call her first, why she got to always initiate contact, always put everything on your purpose. Your purpose. My purpose. Oh, I'm just so busy. You know, my purpose. My purpose. My purpose is everything. You know, I'm just, oh, I got these meetings. I got this paperwork. I got this deadline. Everything is your purpose. All right? Always put it on your purpose. All right? Because if she keeps saying something, then it makes her look like a selfish bitch because, hey, my purpose, you know, you, you want me to stop what I'm doing? You want me to stop my purpose so I can call you? I got, I'm trying to work on my purpose, all right? And why I tell you guys like this here, when women flake on dates, and this is for guys of my age, and they got kids or whatever, they always put everything on the kids. Oh, my kid got a fever, this, that, because it's to make you look like a selfish asshole if you don't understand that her kids are sick, all right? That's the whole point of it. So, you make her look like a selfish asshole if you telling her that you trying to get this shit going and she fucking bugging you about calling her. All right. So always put it on your fucking purpose because you kind of leave her with nothing to say because, bitch, I'm working on my purpose. What you want me to stop doing? Working on my purpose so I can call you? I'm working on my fucking purpose. All right. So everything is on your purpose. Now she is going to test and she's going to pull back. And if you pass this. That's it. She uh, Listen, and she might pull back a week or two, but she don't pursue you either. Whole fucking tight. Now, this whole point, guys, comes in. This is why I say you got to wait two to three months. Preferably just wait three months, all right? Just wait three months to make sure she's good and invested because I don't want you guys to fuck around and lose a girl that's not invested. So wait preferably three months before you start this pullback, all right? Three months before you start this pullback just to make sure she's good and invested. Because if she's not, guys, you're going to lose this girl. All right? She, if, you, if she's not, if you don't got her invested, you're going to lose this girl. I'm telling you like that right now. And that investment means a lot. Let me tell y'all how important that fucking investment is. Don't y'all know this woman could go meet a guy that physically she's more attractive to him than you? But since she got that investment with you, She'll leave him to come back to you. That's how important investment is. That's how important, you know, getting her heart is. That even though on the surface, this dude makes more money than you, and technically he's more physically appealing than, than you, but she's invested in you. Don't you know that that'll make her leave him? That's how important investment is, guys. So at this point, guys, she's going to pull back. Hold for it. If you pass this test, you never have to worry about it again, typically. All right? And maybe a while. Maybe a year or something she tried again. But typically when girls have done this shit to me, when they have complained about I don't initiate contact, I don't initiate contact, and they saying something about it, and they go try to pull back for a week or two, whatever case, I hold for it. 
They call me back. Time to suck some dick. That's it, guys. A whole lot of dick. All right? So just remember that, guys. But always, whenever you do anything like this, now I tell you, most, I tell you guys, most of the stuff I say is a lifestyle. This is a flat-out strategy right here. This is a flat-out alpha male strategy. This ain't got nothing to do with lifestyle. This is a premeditated move. This ain't this ain't a strategy. You know, I say I call the girls on hit the girls up online the next day and shit because I be busy. This that no 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 no. I this is a strategy. Ain't nobody that goddamn busy on their purpose where they can't text good morning. All right. So this is a premeditated strategy. This ain't got nothing to do with the lifestyle here. This is a real alpha male strategy, guys, to pull back. And I recommend for any of you guys to do this within two to three months whenever you see the woman get invested. I can do it after two months because I can get a woman invested, all right, after two months. Most of you guys might not be that advanced. And all this comes from the way you carry yourself, masculine frame, seductive, the way you know how to whisper sweet things into her ear to get this investment, the way you know how to make her come to you, cook for you, whatever the case may be, to get her invested. It usually take me about two months, and I can pull back. Most of you guys, I recommend three months, all right? But I recommend all you guys at some point to do this, because if you don't, she going to do it. So somebody's going to pull back from somebody, all right? If, if, if Listen, a woman pull back, and, and I'm not talking about losing interest. Let We know what losing interest is. That's when she gets difficult to make dates. I'm talking about the pullback. The pullback is when she stop initiating contact and all this other shit. And... The thing with the pullback guys is somebody's going to do it to somebody, all right? So it's better for you to manipulate her than her to manipulate you. Somebody's going to get the power in the relationship, all right? That's the thing, guys. And the thing is, when you own your purpose, you can always withstand this because the only thing we got, guys, to withstand the power of pussy is our purpose. That's it. We can never be the woman physically. We can't. It, it cannot be done. You would not be the woman physically. If you're not on your purpose, you could never compete with a woman. You just can't. I don't give a fuck if you're the most good looking dude in the world. The best looking good the best looking dude in the world is not gonna get the amount of messages and attention that the most uh, 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 just a uh, eight or nine can get online or walking down the street. Alright? You just can't compete. The only way you can compete is to be on your purpose, guys. Alright, guys. Like the video, comment down below. Make sure you employ the pullback at some point. Either you pull back on her or she gonna pull back on you and make sure you do this shit slowly. You don't go from initiating contact three times a week to zero. Three times a week, wait a couple weeks, go to two, you backing away slowly. Three times a week to zero, that could be perceived as lost interest and that can make the woman move on. All right, that's way too much way too soon all right the human brain doesn't work like that you gotta do the shit slow all right guys like the video comment down below what you guys want to see next holla back